folks. This is Dr. Brian King, and and look who's with me. Yes. It's been a while. I did a few episodes uh, without you, and uh, and you. the fans have been clamoring. Uh, I don't think so. They've been like, where the hell? Where the, where the hell's the rot, hot redhead? Is what they've been saying. Uh, and uh, and I had to tell them like you you left me. Uh, I, I've been being a career woman and a mommy. A career woman and a mommy. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm still traveling, doing on the road, and uh, but you've joined me this week. Which is kind of sweet. Uh, I have you with me for a, a whole week in the great state of Indiana. Yeah. And uh, thrilling. <laughs> <laughs> Our guest on the podcast today is uh, is somebody that I first met as a stand up comedian. I was running shows in San Francisco, California, and uh, and I don't know uh, his life trajectory, but I believe. That he had just moved out to California, uh, and right around the time that he introduced himself to me, and um, hit me up uh, for a show, and I booked him for a show, and I, I loved him. He's very funny, uh, not only very funny, but very nice guy, very cool guy. We got along pretty well, and uh, he had a history uh, before getting into comedy, he had a history of making rap music, you mm-hmm. know, and and so uh, over the years. He has evolved as an artist. <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> he's he's moved to LA. He got he got married, kind of like kind of like me. Yeah, you know, kind of he got he, he we sort of followed that same path. Uh, he also had a kid, kind of mm-hmm. like you know what we did. <laughs> and and his kids actually uh, uh, about roughly around the same age as ours. I think a little bit older. Yeah. But like us. He his art became inspired by the fact that he was a father, uh, and and uh, and he started making art with his with his kid and and with his kid, and and I really think it's been an interesting transition. Uh, he went from like comedian rapper to uh, I guess like family oriented rapper. I don't know if you qual- <laughs> if it's still rap, uh, but he goes by the name of Burt Badger right now. I'm here, I'm there, I'm everywhere. Blues, women, and blues. I'm here, I'm there. I'm Did I accurately uh, summarize your life, or is there more to it? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm tearing up. You did a beautiful job. <laughs> 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 I could have summarized it better myself. That was, that was like a trip through time, Brian. <laughs> I, uh, well, you know, I, I think there was like some in between stuff that I'm unaware of, and I'm not quite uh, sure about like the circumstances of your birth. But <laughs> <laughs> was that right, though? Uh, that when we met, you had just moved to California. Was that? I, yeah, within the year, absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, all right. So, uh, are you still doing comedy these days? I just want to see about that. Yeah, uh, I'm not like pursuing, but if people hit me up to do it, I will do it. I was up in San Francisco earlier this year and Stroy asked me to do Cobbs, which blew me off my feet real quick. I just walked into a bar and he was like, Bert, what's up, man? You want to come do Cobbs? <laughs> I was at Rocco's and then I went over and did Cobbs and that was fun. And then I did a hip hop rap set slash Burt Badger set a couple weeks ago. I headlined the show and it was really fun. And People got into my music. I did some of the old stuff that I used to do at Castagnolas, and I did some of the new stuff that uh, I've been working on and everything. And people were clapping and and getting really into it. And I'd point the microphone at the crowd, and they'd bark the lyrics back to me. It was really cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So mm-hmm. now what came first, comedy or, or music? Music. Yeah, I started doing uh, like hip-hop stuff in – Roughly, I want to say 2005, and I've just keep doing it ever since. You got a new album out, right? Uh, yes, French Toast. French Toast All Bangers. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it's it's like All Bangers being like, you know, it's like all hits. You know, it's like a, or is that right? Is that what you intended? Well, yeah, and I just kind of skipped. I just didn't do any sentimental, emotional, don't. Be mean to your friends songs. It's just all <laughs> fun. It's all fun. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I want to I talk about the new album because it's like fresh on our mind. You want to, yeah, but I kind of want to talk about the progression to get to Burt Badger first. You know, uh, so like uh, obviously, I mean, I mean, I, I mentioned in my intro that it was you know you had a kid, you became a father, but uh, tell me in your own words, like how you how you became Burt Badger. <laughs> it was funny because. 
I was a camp counselor in 2002 and we were all going around the room saying what, telling people what animal they looked like and everybody would agree. And I didn't even have a beard then. And somebody was like, you're a badger. And I was <laughs> like, all right, okay. A Wisconsin kind of thing going on over here. I get it. And all right. And it just kind of stuck with me and uh, just the ring of Burt Badger kind of rolls off the tongue really well. So uh, that's what I went by. Makes and sense. Yeah. And with, and with the kids stuff, I mean, how did, when, when did that start? That started a little bit before COVID. It was, it was really wild. Um, I was watching a bunch of stuff that my kid was watching and it was just awful. And there's some fairly annoying uh hosts uh on youtube shows that i'm sure you guys have all watched and it's hard to watch and, <laughs> he's talking about uh, he's talking, uh, he's talking i'm, talking I'm about not people. name dropping no, i'm name but, dropping blippy's annoying <laughs> <laughs> we had a blippy stage yeah i want to do something in between where like i could connect with kids and like parents didn't hate it and so we mm -hmm. just started doing nice to meet you which was the the show i'm not really we're not really doing it anymore we're doing music videos still and they, those go up on the youtube site but uh i'm not going to do the burt badger show unless i get paid to do it now so mm -hmm. yeah, yeah it's a work. lot of work like i i was writing i was like coming up with locations i was hiring videographers i was making sure everything was smooth i was planning out all the days then I had to edit it. Then I had to like green screen it. And then I had to like put those effects in the show. And like, you know, each episode is like 20 minutes long. It was a lot. Mm -hmm. And I was doing the music for it too. And finally I was just like, I just want to do the music. So he, he stopped being blippy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How I, dare you? Know, you. I can see you can do blippy. I feel you like might you might be can, able to pull it yeah, out. Yeah, you can pull You can do a blippy song, you know? I could, but like the thing is, is like, it's just not me. And I, like you know me fairly well. I, I mean, I'm I can be immature and center of attention, but I'm really not like that anymore. Like, like since you've known me, like I've become like moderately fairly introverted. And if people are like over talking and being like weird and like in my face and stuff, like I'm I I regret. I like regress. Like I'm like I'm not into it. I I can't be center of attention anymore unless like I can like turn it on and then turn it off. But like I'm not like always like I'm not always on anymore. I can't do it. It's too much work. <laughs> In a way, I guess having a character persona that you could step into and then step out of uh, is actually probably better for your personality at this point. Would you think? I agree. I've done stand up as Burt Badger before, and people are like, What was that? That was awesome. And that, that felt really good, and that was cool. And I mean, I'm not like, again, pursuing it, but it was just fun to like test it out and see like what, what happened. And it was, it was really fun. So, you want to talk about this album? She's got some notes pulled up. Oh, I just took notes as I was going along. That's it. <laughs> oh, I'm so. I'm so excited. I, no one's <laughs> broke down the album with me yet or anything. Oh, like, yeah. I've done a, quite hey, a few podcasts. You know work. <laughs> you know, I'm excited. Uh, you guys I love it. I love it. Yeah, no, we, we put in the work, man. We listened to the whole thing, like, from, uh, from like, the Ohio border all the way to Fort, <laughs> Fort Wayne. You know, we were just a... Uh, you're jamming out, man. It's like, uh, yeah, we, we put in the work. Did you catch the common theme of the album? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't imagine why we were every place to eat afterwards. <laughs> Your freaking album made me so hungry. Uh, so, <laughs> and you know what? It's called French Toast, uh, but there are songs, and I'm just going to, I got the set list up here. So I'm just going to like, like, we got French toast. We got raisins. We got mac and mac attack, which is about mac and cheese. Cinnamon. But these are songs that you should not be listening to while you're on a diet. You know? Well, <laughs> the funny thing is, is I'm working on a vegan album right now. So uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's I I I, I don't want to hear that one. No, no, no. <laughs> Oh, I was just about to say, well, generally food is the ultimate unifier. And then you said vegan. I'm like, oh, maybe not. Yeah, yeah no, you just lost half your audience. Way more than half. <laughs> no, I just wrote a song about s'mores today, and it's, it turned out pretty good. <laughs> Add it to the album? No, it's going to be on the next one. 
I yeah. basically have the whole next album done. I'm just I, 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 I have like it. I have two and a half years of like backed up material, and so I probably have. 50 songs at this point. I only released three of the 10 pop punk songs that I have. And yeah, I have a lot of music. And I don't know what to do with it because nobody wants to listen to it. <laughs> I, I've been backed up before. Uh, <laughs> 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 but so uh, what, do you, what, do you, what do you got on the, on the notes here? Oh, I just wrote a few things down. Like um, some of the songs, like for example, your French toast song reminded me a little bit like, a, and your, what was the other one? The Mac attack. I could just see it being accompanied by some kind of dance. I don't know. I'm assuming you made videos for them, but I'm like, I can see it like the peanut butter jelly oh, song yeah. that's so fate that goes well with the kids. And I could totally see yeah, some yeah, yeah. dance where it's really catchy, you know, going with it. Yeah. I mean, you got a lot of very catchy. Do you have any dance moves that are specific for these songs? <laughs> uh, I did for the last album. Uh, not so much for this album. We I did a music video for a Mac attack and uh, my head is like this big in it. I've, I learned how to rotoscope. So I rotoscope my head gigantic on me eating Mac and cheese. Um, and then the French toast music video is not out yet. Mm -hmm. I'm still oh. working on it. Oh, that's cool. I was going to ask you if there was uh, any, any videos that work for that. That's great. Yeah, and then the lemonade stand music video uh, is on, is on TikTok right now, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, there's a common theme, and it's food, but it's not just food. It's like a high sugary, cinnamony <laughs> uh, kid food, you know? And cinnamon and sugar. What the hell's wrong with you? Um, <laughs> 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 Why would you put this into the world, into the universe, man? Because <laughs> your boy can write a hook. What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Cinnabons, man. I. Although I tell you, if that, you know, you should totally market that to the Cinnabon company. You might as well, you know, give it a try. Well, then you have like other songs that sort of inter are interspersed, like Cowboy Wannabe, uh, you know, which I don't remember hearing a food reference. No. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and yeah. uh, like Ghost Hunt, you know, which is like straight nerding out on Ghostbusters. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so the, there, there is an overall theme to the album, but it's interrupted uh, by. Uh, by these other tracks. And I was just wondering what was your intent with all of that? Yeah, I just didn't want to be uh, a album full of food tracks. You know, um, Weird Al uh, is known for his food songs for sure, especially back in the eighties. And uh, somebody referenced that to me the other day on a podcast. And I was like, yeah, I guess I'm like the Weird Al children's, artist or something i, I wrote actually under raisins i wrote weird al yeah yeah <laughs> under for raisins yeah 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 uh, oh that's funny i didn't even have him in mind in that that's funny um i think yeah it was I, accordion that got me it was your heavy accordion use on that one. yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah the i just i didn't want every song to be about food and I know so, that. Wait, hang, hang on, on a minute. Hang on a minute. The album is literally called French Toast. All yep. bangers. And you didn't want that all to be a, all about food. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's it. it I, I had to find a happy medium in it because uh, if 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 I'm singing every song about food, it's just going to be too much. So uh, I broke it up and I did the uh, the Sunshine song, which is really fun. I think that's the first song that I wrote off the whole album. And then it went to Best Day Ever and then Let's Get Nuts uh, were the first three songs off the album. And those were done like literally right after Get Happy or Cry Trying. Uh -huh. And those almost went on Get Happy or Cry Trying, but I didn't think that they fit the album in the theme of, of Get Happy or Cry Trying. So uh, I just kind of saved them up over like two and a half years. I mean, you're a, a talented guy and, and uh, you're a new father. And so I, 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 it's an easy progression to see, you know, when I became a dad, uh, almost immediately, all of my stand up was about being a dad, you know, and, uh, and, you know, everything I do creatively now uh, involves my family. Like the last two books I wrote uh, are pretty much all about my family. Uh, so I totally get that. I really do. Uh, does your son help you with these songs? 
So he is the decider of the songs. He he will straight up say this needs work, this needs better music. Um, he's very honest, and uh, I had to rework uh, PB and J, and I don't and churros. Yeah, I had to rework both those songs before uh, they made the album. The kids, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> wow. um, yeah, he does not front. He does not front. Alyssa is the same way. You know, when we do her videos and she edits, she's totally part of the editing process. And she's like, no, it needs more sparkles. No, cut this yeah. part. Put yeah. this. But, you know, it's really funny how it is awesome. Yeah, that's so cool. Very involved in the creative process. Uh, that's your, so cool. uh, your son is how old again? Uh, he just turned eight in September. Okay, yeah, so he's like a, a year older than, mm -hmm. than Alyssa. Uh, but yeah, they're at that age where, where they do have opinions on stuff. And uh, and I think you should always go with the kid uh, because they I think they know they know it better. You know, they know what's going to work. Yeah, it's 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 for them. It's not for me. Like I'll play a song for my wife, and she's like, "I don't know." And I was like, "Well, Lincoln approved it, so <laughs> well, not on the album." <laughs> Because I, I played a, a cowboy wannabe for her, and she was like, yeah, it needs some work. I'm like, it's done. The song's <laughs> done. It's mixed, it's mixed and mastered. It's done. An eight-year-old has put his stamp of approval. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Uh, is and, Lincoln uh, music? Not yet. Uh, uh, so I haven't told anybody this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop it on your podcast. Uh, Ooh, scoop right uh, here. <laughs> uh next summer um we're gonna move to nashville i'm getting out of la i oh. i'm not a big i'm not a big fan anymore i was i've been in california 15 years i've been in la for eight and i've served my time here so we're gonna move, move to nashville and i'm gonna start getting him into some vocal lessons and some piano stuff so yeah oh that's fantastic mm -hmm. yeah very cool mm -hmm. I yep. look forward to the uh, Burt Badger country album. Six so I'm six songs deep into it. Are you really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. fantastic. So yeah. I, I just trying to think of some, like it's going to cover things like, uh, I don't know. You have like, to have cowboy boots. Well, I was thinking about country, country kid food, you know, like chicken fried steak and Waffle yep. House. And, uh, I don't you know. know. Houston, Texas, everything is brisket and steak. That's true. Bear claws. Yeah, we'll, yes. we'll, get some, we'll get some good stuff in there. Some, uh, Yeah, I have a song about going on a hayride, and yeah, I, I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm looking forward to hear that. How do you classify your music? Do you still call it rap? Or? Some of it is definitely rap. But before, let me, let me change that uh, question, because obviously uh, there are some songs that are very clearly rap songs, but not all. Yeah. Yeah, raisins and um, uh, uh, cookie raid. Those are those are definitely rap songs. Um, but you know, turn it up, fireworks, and you moved our pop punk songs that mm -hmm. my friend John Paul Kaufman and I wrote together. Uh, I come up with the lyrics, the melody, I lay it down, and then he does guitar, bass, and drums over it. All he does all of it. Mm -hmm. Live and uh, on, I, wrote, I wrote down. It reminded me of uh, quite a bit of drum and bass, even. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was going to yeah, ask so you that about the music. Those are, li those are live. Those are live instruments. Those ones are real songs. They're not made on like a computer. I mean, they're made on a computer, but they're not made right, right. by a computer. Yeah. I was going to ask you about the music. I was. Uh, I was going to ask you if, uh, what you know. Do you perform versus what? What do you have other people perform on it? So I made I made a lot of the music. I made all the music for the first album. I made half the music for the second album. Third album, I don't think I made any of the music for it. And then for this album, I just did uh, PB and J. I made that uh, the mumble rap. <laughs> I wanted to do a mumble rap song just so everybody knows that I can actually. <laughs> Mumble rap? It, it's it's not hard to mumble. I mean, if you can, yeah. <laughs> and I think I think that's that's the only one that I did. I I made I made tracks for Lemonade and Mac and Cheese, but they weren't as kid friendly as I thought they would be. But you can actually check those out on um, 
I think my Instagram and I think they're on my TikTok too. So they're completely sound different sounding songs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so if you want the adult versions of Mac Attack, you can listen to it. <laughs> oh, there's an adult version. <laughs> Mac and cheese is getting more sophisticated these oh, days. Man. It's, yeah, it's 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 ridiculous, man. We go to a restaurant, we order mac and cheese. It's like thirty dollars, and the kid doesn't like it. <laughs> yeah, because it has lobster in it. No. <laughs> what, what's your son's favorite song in this album? Oh, it, he doesn't like any of them. He likes of approval. He likes Lemonade Stand a lot. And uh, he also really enjoys Mac Attack. And oh, uh, You Moved is a big one for him because he's had several friends move away. And every time I play that song, he's like, when are we going to see so-and-so again? Can you play that song again, Daddy? Uh -huh. And it makes me so happy. It's super cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, is really, that is really cute. That's awesome. Uh, and what about you? What's your favorite? Uh, are you partial to any of them? I really like Dunkin' and I don't know why. <laughs> I, it's such a I, weird concept. I know. I initially didn't like, the, so I I go on Fiverr and I have like two guys on there that I use and I've used them for the last album and this album. He did such a good job. And uh, when he initially sent me Duncan and Ranch, I didn't like it. And then I was like sleeping and it was like stuck in my head. And I was like, okay, this is a banger. Yeah. Yeah. Are these guys just that uh, just worked on you on this, uh, with, on this album or did they, did they work on the previous albums as well? So uh, Mason, uh, he worked on the second album quite a bit. Uh, he did the avocado song, which is like my very favorite song that I've ever made. And uh, I work. I was working with another guy, and he lived in Venezuela. I don't know what happened. Wow! Oh, he, he just. Lost he just oh man! I, I was looking at <laughs> caught in a civil war or what? He, he but, could like, be up here. He could be up here now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've I've tried to get I tried to get a hold of him every six months. Like I put a little message on on Fiverr, and homeboy is MIA, and it's really scary. Uh, so I I work with this other dude. Uh, I think he lives in. Uh, maybe Peru, but he speaks uh, very, very good English. And uh, I think his most impressive track on this album has to be Skybeam. I told him I wanted like an 80s montage type deal, and he wow. delivered. He rocked it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I think there's, um, it, it's interesting that you had so many influences and help on this because there is some consistency in mm -hmm. the sound across the album, you know. Uh, it it de it doesn't sound like a bunch of different musical, you know, professionals putting stuff together. It's all very, uh, very consistent, and it's all Burt Badger. Yeah, I try, I'm trying to I'm trying to do as original as I can, and I'm trying to appeal to kids and not annoy adults. Is <laughs> kind of the family friendly tone I'm going for. What's the reception been like so far? Bad. It's very bad. <laughs> <laughs> I've had to give several refunds. <laughs> really? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> hey, I don't know, man. It sounds like my last book. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's always critic. I know. It's always oh, the man. critic speak up for I, I, I would love for somebody professional to review my album. I, I, even if it was bad, I, it's, I would still feel special. The album's not fully out yet it actually comes out at the end of the month i'm just doing like a soft uh like a soft sale right now just for like kind of like friends and family and things on Bandcamp, and then it'll hit streaming uh i think on halloween is when it comes out and so if you are listening to this right now the pre-sales should be up and if you pre-sale by the album it bumps us up to uh, the children's albums, and we might even be in like the top 10. So yeah, if you're listening to this and want a dope album, go pre-sale and pre-buy it and everything and get us uh, up in the ranks there. How can people find the album? Uh, just type in Bandcamp Burt Badger and all my albums will come up there. And uh, if you're on YouTube, just type in Burt Badger and all my albums will come up there, except for the new one right now as of 
uh, October 7th, 2024. Uh, but uh, at the end of the month, it'll all be dropping and it'll be on every single streaming service there is. I go through this thing called TuneCore where they distribute everything digitally. Oh, and then cool. if you hate digital, you can always get a hold of me at Bert Badger World on Instagram and I can send you a physical copy of the album. I saw that he on his Facebook. He's got disc, like compact disc, which I, I will point out to you, just to be an asshole, is still digital. <laughs> it is. Thank you very much. You're right. You're right. <laughs> it's not like it's You're not right. like you got L, you know LPs coming out. <laughs> that is still a digital medium. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've like tried to pawn the album off on several people, and they're straight up like, "I don't own a CD player," and I'm like, yeah. "Okay." My daughter was taking a French class that came with a CD, and to do her homework, I actually went and I had a like 16 or 17 year old computer that I still had from college, and I like, oh, what's my password? I'm like <laughs> racking my mind. What's my password to get in so that we can listen to this enough to like transfer just it to, to rip it too. Yeah. To modern. <laughs> it <was funny>. Sarah, <laughs> that's hilarious. That's yeah. so funny. Uh, you couldn't find it. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Hey, speaking of our daughter, our listeners may not be aware of this, uh, but uh, Bert uh, did a theme song for yes. our daughter's uh, YouTube channel. And, yeah, uh, we use it still. Yeah. We still use it today. Uh, whenever she makes a video, uh, we put it out. Just to refresh everybody's memory, I'm going to play it. Uh, so <laughs> yes. Here we go. Let's see. You still owe me like ten thousand dollars for that. <laughs> yeah. For all the downloads of my kids' channel, yeah. <laughs> but that's it. Uh, we love it, and uh, and our daughter really likes it. Uh, she thinks it's so cool that she has her own theme song. Uh, you know. And, oh, that's adorable. Just, just want you. To I, I want to thank you for that and acknowledge you on our, our podcast uh, that you are the person who made that song and. And uh, and our kid and, is and for following through, we try to collab with so many people. I'm sure you have as well. We try to collab with so many people, and a lot of people just. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good yeah. song too. Was it during COVID or was it before? I don't remember, but I do remember she she came home one day and said that she wanted two things. Uh, she wanted a sister and a YouTube channel. And uh, and we said, well, we could hook you up with a YouTube channel. <laughs> and she loves it. And she promotes her YouTube channel. She's at school and she's uh, telling all of her friends watch it. You know, and uh, sometimes when I show up to pick her up from school, her friends will be like, I really like that video where Alyssa does this or does that. You know, so uh, yeah, it's it's she's reaching an audience. You know, that's super awesome. That's really cool. Um, funny story. Uh, Lincoln and I were doing a little web series together called The Junk Food Junkie. You can look it up on YouTube. And I don't know if I put this episode up because it's been a while, but we will try new junk food that come up like um, uh, Swedish Fish Oreos or Coca-Cola flavored Oreos. There's a lot of Oreos yeah. that are <laughs> coming out. And... Uh, I was like, let's do some uh, Jones sodas. That's uh, more, more of like a Midwest soda that you can get. Or if you're in the Midwest, it's a pop. <laughs> and we are in the uh, Midwest. I remember there was like, I remember there was like this Thanksgiving Day set that you could get. It came in like a box, and it was like turkey and gravy, uh, mashed potatoes, green bean casserole, and then one of them was like cranberries. And it came in like this really cute thing. And I found it on eBay and I was like, sweet, they made another one. So I ordered it and it was sent to me. Now I remember this from like 2005 or six when it mm -hmm. came out. This was from 2005. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I did not check the label. And I drank rancid mashed potato <laughs> soda. <laughs> 
And usually I make Lincoln drink it before me, but for some reason that day I drank it before he did, and I took a swig of it, and I was like, oh, no. This is <laughs> He's like, does it taste bad? I'm like, not only does it taste bad, I have to bark. <laughs> oh, I definitely want to see that video. <laughs> That I'll find it and send it to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually had a, I had the idea once. They make a um, like a, a chicken wing soda and a ranch dressing. Yeah, soda, you know, yeah. I really wanted to get both of them at the same time, and I and I never did. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the ranch one is so bad, Ryan, because uh, it's not thick. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like a soda. Water. It's yeah. so bad, and it's bubbly. It's terrible. I do not want to dunk anything in that ranch. I will not dunk anything in that ranch. <laughs> well, maybe I'll avoid doing that video. Now, don't do it. Well, look, man. Uh, it's great catching up. It's been way too long since we've seen each other in person. Uh, I know. I miss you. And Sarah, I, miss I, wish you. I met you. <laughs> well, you're going to be in Nashville. Maybe we can like meet in the middle at Pigeon Forge or something Ooh, and have some fun. Yeah, I'm we, down for that. Yeah, we, I want to meet uh, Alyssa too. I'm sure Lincoln and her will get along great. We took Alyssa to since we're moving to North Carolina. We took Alyssa to uh, Dollywood uh, earlier in the summer, and uh, oh my God, we had such a great time, all of us. Not you know that like that's our go-to theme park for now on. You know <laughs> <laughs> we're. We're going to Dollywood. It's not, you know, forget Disney, uh, forget all the other stuff. It's like Dollywood, just a few hour drive. So it's a good halfway point between Nashville and, and North Carolina is what I'm saying. But hey, man, really good catching up with you. Uh, I hope the uh, the latest album uh, su uh, does poorly. Uh, <laughs> 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 hope, hope nobody listens to it, and you're gonna have to get a you're, you're gonna have to start Ubering. I don't know. No. <laughs> I really do. All right, Bert. It's good talking to you, man. I really appreciate you doing the podcast. Uh, any, any parting words? Uh, follow me at Bert Badger World on Instagram. Uh, follow me on YouTube at Bert Badger World. And you guys, thank you so much for letting me take time out of your day to do this. It's really, really cool. I know you have so many other guests lined up. And for me, for you to put me at the front of the line was really cool. I appreciate it's it. Good to see you yeah, again. you too. And, uh, and for those of you listening or watching, however you're consuming the podcast, we appreciate you. Thank you so much for tuning in. This has been another episode of On the Road with Dr. Brian. And I, I almost I almost ended without thanking you. Thank you so much for yep. being back on the podcast. Anyways, uh, everybody listening, watching, thanks a lot. This has been On the Road with Dr. Brian. Bye-bye. I'm here. I'm there. I'm everywhere. everywhere. Blues, women, and blues. I'm here. I'm there. I'm everywhere. I'm an asshole.